an exciting television drama played against the tense background of present-day Europe. Starring tonight, James Daly as Michael Powers, foreign correspondent for Associated News. Produced in Europe, especially for television, by Sheldon Reynolds. the world is primarily concerned with the problems created by men. But every so often, nature steps in to remind us that there are problems we all have in common. Floods, hurricanes, and earthquake disasters have plagued mankind since the beginning of time, taking their terrible toll in lives and materials. While men fight on different frontiers, such catastrophes bring forth their better feelings. People from all walks of life donate their time and meager belongings to help those who have been stricken by tragedy. Sometimes the best intentions of men can be warped by lesser men, and acts of human kindness can be soured by treachery. The thing is, Mr. Powers, that the alarm was sent in while the watchman was still unconscious, and the fire had only just started. But you don't know who turned in the alarm? No, I don't understand it. Why would anyone want to destroy food and clothing meant for relief purposes? None of it makes sense. We can only presume that some crank or firebug is loose in the neighborhood. Fortunately, there's not much damage. Ah, oh, here's Dr. Fleming, the director of this project. This is terrible, Inspector. I cannot believe that some people could be so heartless. Dr. Fleming, I want you to meet Mr. Powers, an American journalist for the Associated News. How do you do, sir? Glad to meet you, Mr. Powers. Dr. Fleming's been the largest single contributor to this cause. Aside from hiring trucks, he's chartered one of the country's largest freighters to take these goods to the disaster area. It's not me, Inspector. 
but the people who gave what they could hardly afford who really deserved to be thanked. Like the little boy who gave up his sweater so that another little boy could keep warm. The world is full of all sorts of people, Doctor. Some who strive to hold it together and others who try to tear it apart. I can understand destroying for some eventual material gain, but in this case there is none. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Remember, these things are going to a nation that has long suffered from political unrest. That's right. The earthquakes there have created a kind of misery and poverty that could be taken advantage of by a political minority. And in that case, we can expect more of this. Dr. Fleming, I'm going to see the customs are waived so that you can get your ship away as soon as possible. That's wonderful, Inspector. Thank you, thank you very much. If you'll excuse me, uh, there are so many details to be cleared away. Of course. Very nice to meet you, Doctor. Thank you. Isn't that taking a pretty big responsibility, Inspector, waiving customs? Mr. Powers, there's already been one attempt at sabotage. I want to get that ship away before another more successful attempt is made. Anyway, it's only a matter of cutting red tape. When do you think this shipment will leave harbor? Tomorrow, I expect. Will it be there? I'll be there. Thanks for everything, Inspector. Bye. successful attempt to sabotage the relief shipment. All customs and formalities were waived and the trucks began to roll. Each load meant hope and comfort to innocent victims of disasters. And it meant also that the private citizens of the free world were holding out a helping hand to their fellow men so that they could rebuild their country and remain free and democratic. The trucks moved swiftly to their destinations and the world watched. But the hidden hand that had tried to destroy the relief shipment had made other plans. Somewhere between points, the trucks were switched and a new mysterious cargo hurried on its way. Moselle is dark. Go back in that direction. And that is the last pier off your left side. Thanks. Hello. A hot dog, please. Sure. Good looking sweater you got on. Where'd you get it? My father gave it to me. Hello, mister. That's the wrong direction. It's not this way. Yeah, I know. Thanks.
You're not going anywhere. If you don't give us any trouble, you can stay here and we won't have to tie you up. That's not so fancy, but we don't usually carry passengers. You usually carry stolen goods? Huh? Who says they're stolen? Everything I saw in your cargo came from the disaster relief shipment. I saw those things yesterday. The sweater that kid's got on came from the relief shipment. What, you beast, Mr. I'm a newspaper man. Uh, he says we're shipping stolen goods. He got received some bills of lading for everything on board. Well, then the man who sold you the merchandise stole them. Look, if you're really on the level, you'll turn this ship around and check with the police. Lock him in here until we are a good ways out to sea. Hi, sir. Come on. Get in, smart ideas. There's no way out of here but the door. <laughs> Unless you want to try. Uh, Port huh? All right, come on. second part of Foreign Right away. I can station some of my men around the field in case he tries to get through. Good idea. The inspectors on shore. I want to keep away from that newspaper man.
everything proceeding on schedule? Perfect, sir. I'm not expecting any trouble, but I can't afford to be wrong. Keep your men posted for any eventuality. Yes, sir. Inspector. Hello, Dr. Fleming. How's it going? Oh, fine, fine. Thanks to you. You seem a little nervous. Frankly, I am. That sepulchre said him that the warehouse worries me. I am afraid I'll try again. Oh, we've taken every precaution. I know, I know. But I think I will take a ship out just as soon as it's loaded. Could you arrange it with the Coastal Patrol Service? Sure, I'll call the Harbour Police now and get you cleared as soon as you're ready. Thanks. <laughs> food and clothing I ever carried. Get off without showing himself. to bring it to my cabin. Yes. Well, what do you know? The kindly benefactor. <laughs> it has been an enjoyable role, except for moments of dripping sentiment. You know, of course, that those guns will slaughter people who are starving and homeless already. The situation of these people will simply make our political revolution easier. Oh, you must be cold, Mr. Powers. What about a drink? Oh, 
it's absolutely no use. You see, we thought of everything. Including the fire at the warehouse, I suppose. Of course. How else could we have gotten the inspector to clear our ship without the usual custom check? What do we do with him? I think he'll put a bullet in his head and drop him at sea. To your health, Mr. Powers. Find the real material on this man's ship, Inspector. It's over there. Fleming started something that was worthwhile. Maybe we can finish it. All we have to do now is move the goods from the small ship to the big ship. We can still see this thing through. Take him away. Come on. Come on, let's get started. <laughs> 